Hey, how you guys doing this morning? I'm going to do something a little different today. Uh, this was my first pistol that I got probably 16, 17 years ago. This is a, uh, which the, uh, I put some fingernail polish and color filled it, but it kind of smeared off over a couple years times. But uh, this is my Gen 3 Glock 19. This was the first handgun I ever got. This was back when I thought Glock was just, all I wanted was Glock this, Glock that, Glock this. And I mean, don't get me wrong. This has been a great gun over the years. I just hadn't shot it. And uh, I probably hadn't shot this one in a couple, probably a couple years. But uh, I did put Trichicon night sights on it. I don't know if you can see. And uh, I put a uh, one of the uh, Glock. It's not a Glock trigger, but it's a. Uh, the spring kit that you do it it lightens lightens it up just a little bit and i got talon grips on it but uh, i actually uh that's what i wanted to show you guys i did put a wilson combat say wilson a uh, combat this is a match barrel so what i wanted to do was i wanted to kind of compare the glock with the wilson barrel with the wilson combat edc x9 and obviously the the EDC X9 is a lot nicer gun, but probably a lot of people that will disagree with that. Certain Glock fan base and everything, but uh, what I want to do is I want to shoot them side by side and just uh, show you the targets I got set up. And uh, to see the difference in groups and stuff and uh, do a couple draws and uh, kind of let the Wilson Combat go head to head with the Glock. So we all know Glock is probably one of the most popular handguns in the world. But uh, I had one zombie target left. And then I got these new ones. I don't know how good these are going to be with a pistol. I'll probably have to stand up within at least probably 10, 15 yards to be able to hit them consistently. But uh, I got these red field targets like this. I might have to set another one of these up. But uh, anyway, I'm going to go back here to 10 yards and uh, do groups of five and then work my way back. And... Uh, Just compare the two guns, which this gun right here is a freaking gorgeous gun. But compare it with the uh, my first Glock 19 Gen 3 that I got. But yeah, I would definitely never want to get rid of this one. I said it's my first handgun ever. I think I paid $530 for it. And I think they've consistently stayed about the same price. But anyway, I loaded up a couple magazines. I'm going to set the tripod up and get started. All right. I'm going to start out with the... Uh, I'm going to start out with the Glock first. Uh, I got 10 rounds in the magazine. Like I said, I haven't shot this gun in a couple years. And I'll shoot five rounds with the Glock. And I'll do five rounds with the Wilson Combat. But I'm going to do the red fill target top left right there. Hopefully, make sure the camera's pointed right. Yeah, that should be good. All right. I think I missed the target. Yeah, I'm not used to that trigger. I think I missed the first one. We'll see. <clears throat> After I got the hang of the trigger, it wasn't too bad. I didn't miss. The, the first one was up there. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, that's a good group for 10 yards. But uh, I'm going to do, uh, which actually I'm going to do uh, the Wilson Combat right here. And I'll do five with it. And uh, probably won't see a whole lot of separation until I get on back a little further. But uh, let me set it up and I'll do uh, five with the Wilson Combat. But it's definitely going to be different going from the, from one gun to the other, especially with that uh, single action Wilson Combat. All right. Target on the top right. I 
Actually, I think you can tell a difference on the uh, 10 yard shots, man. This is uh, pretty good. That's uh, five rounds with the Wilson Combat, five rounds with the Glock, which I'll give the Glock the benefit of the doubt because I haven't shot it in a long time. But uh, I'm going to step back from uh, probably 15 or 20 yards and uh, just do five more groups. And then after I get done doing that, I'll probably go back 30 yards and uh, shoot some uh, steel. All right, I'm going to start out with the Glock first again. 15 yards this time. I'm going to shoot the one on the bottom left with the block. I held open on the last round. I'll go ahead and do the Wilson combat before I walk up there. For a lot of people that say, uh, talking about the guns, why would you pay, uh, you know, a whole lot more? Let me back it up. A whole lot more for this when you can get a Glock that's just as reliable and a whole lot cheaper. Well, pretty much I'll show you. 15 yards, here's your Glock pattern. Here's your Wilson Combat. I did pull one down there, but uh, it's just the quality, man. The quality is 100 times better. And uh, just the the craftsmanship, I don't know, man. I mean, I, I love both guns, but uh, I've always wanted a Wilson Combat. But uh, actually, before I shoot the steel, I'm gonna shoot the zombie. What I might do is I might use the Glock. I'll do five headshots with the Glock and then I'll do five headshots with the uh, Wilson Combat. All right, I'm gonna do the Wilson Combat first. I think what I'm gonna do uh, so I can see where the shots are better, I'm gonna shoot uh, the five shots with the Wilson Combat and the zombie and then I'm gonna do the other five shots in the, the lady right there, her head. All right. I'll kill a zombie this morning. I missed one time with the Glock. There's the five shots with the Wilson Combat. I always have one I pull low a little bit. Here's the five shots with the Glock. So definitely spread it out. Uh, what I think I'm gonna do is uh, three, six, nine. There's nine circles. I'm gonna load nine rounds in each bag, in each mag, I said bag. Nine rounds in each mag, and then I'm just gonna shoot one round on each circle with uh, each gun, kind of see how they do. All right, I'm gonna use the target on the left with the Glock, nine rounds in each circle. And I would go back a little further, but those circles are small. I probably wouldn't even be able to hit them at all. I might not really be able to hit them that good from this far, cause they are kind of small, but uh, I'm gonna start out with the Glock this time. And uh, after that, I'll shoot the Wilson Combat.
I'll go ahead and do the Wilson time back before I walk up there. All right, the one on the right. Honestly, I don't think I did good with either one. We'll see. Okay, the target on the left was the Glock. The target on the right was the Wilson. Okay, I hit two with that one. So I had one hit, two hits, three hits, four, five, six. The Wilson, I missed that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So actually, I only got one more hit with the Wilson. But uh, actually what I might do before I shoot the steel is uh, I missed those first two. I'm going to do groups of five with uh, each gun. Do the Glock right there and the Wilson combat right there. Okay, Glock first. Target on the left with Glock. All right, definitely got the one with the Glock on the last one. Actually, I think he got a couple times. That must pretty good with the Glock right there. Shit. <laughs> that's the one. I don't know if that's three, two, three, or four, but uh, I had a couple times right there dead center. The Wilson Combat, uh, one, two, three, four, five. So I hit it all five times with the Wilson Combat. There's the Glock. Wish I knew how many. I think that's two. Yeah, that's just two rounds right there. So I did get two bullseyes with the Glock. But uh, the Wilson combat is definitely more consistent. I mean, the trigger. I'll show you guys the trigger real quick. The trigger on both of them. Let me set the tripod up. Do it easier. Okay, the Glock. If you can see that. All right there's a reset. You got a little bit of take up right there and then it kind of mushes through right there. Reset. Well, some combat. There. Reset. Just you just barely, barely on that reset. Two pound trigger. This is probably one of the best triggers I've ever had, honestly. Alright, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back to uh probably 15 yards and uh shoot the steel plates, then I'll go back to 30 yards. And uh, I'll do one with the Glock and then one with the Wilson Combat, and then I'll probably wrap it up. All right, I'm going to use the Glock first. Uh, it's easier to do the Glock first because, obviously, the trigger. If I shoot the Wilson Combat first, uh, I think that I won't have as good a chance using the Glock right next to it. But uh, 15 yards, and I zoomed it up. Hopefully, you can see the still fall. But I loaded up eight rounds with the Glock. Hopefully, I can get it with eight rounds. I'm going to uh, left or right. I 
should have loaded up one more. But obviously, if I if you practice, if I had been practicing with this, I hadn't shot it in a couple years. I mean, you could probably shoot this just as good as any gun there is, obviously. I mean, there are people that shoot Glock. Competition, I mean, it is one of the most popular guns for a reason. I don't think this gun's ever jammed. I mean, it might has it might have jammed or misfed or stovepipe one time over the years. But uh, I think the Wilson Combat Match Barrel definitely helps it. Probably helps the accuracy. But uh, let me get the Wilson Combat. All right, I think I loaded up uh, the same amount in this gun. All right, see if I can knock them down. This gun, though, man, I'm telling you, after you shoot the Glock, shooting this gun, it definitely makes you look better as a shooter. I mean, the two-pound trigger, there's no creep. As soon as you put pressure on the trigger, it goes bang. And uh, so, anyway, I'm going to step back here to 30 and repeat it. All right, I'm going to try first with the Glock again. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. It's hard to zoom in with it when my hands are cold and wet. There it goes. Okay, you definitely can see him. I loaded up 10 rounds on a Glock this time. Hopefully, uh, I can get a couple hits. All right. Ten was the magic number. Let me set him up. Get the Wilson combat. All right. I'm going to go from left to right, see if I can get them all. Six out of six. Let me keep going until I run out of ammo. Yep, once you get the hang of it, uh, once you get the hang of it, let me help take the camera back over here. Show you the guns before I wrap it up. But yeah, once you get the hang of it with this Wilson Combat, man, you can make kits all day. I'm telling you, if, uh, if I had a guy, the only regret I have in this gun is, uh, not getting a optics, an optics ready. But if you had a uh, red dot or green dot on this gun, I'm telling you, you could, you would not miss. And uh, I don't know uh, what I would have to do to put a red dot on here. I'd probably have to send it back to Wilson. And they probably charged me an arm and a leg to do it. But, uh, yeah, I think I hit uh, 9 out of 9 from 30 yards. And those are 5-inch plates. I'll show you real quick, plates. But I did get all of them with the Glock just a little bit harder these are yeah fibers they might be six inch plates they're probably six inch plates but uh yeah 
people probably say it's kind of a dumb video comparing a Glock to a Wilson Combat, but uh, I got both guns and I just wanted to do it. I still love my Glock. I mean, I keep this one loaded at home. I think I keep this upstairs, kind of for the upstairs, in case somebody were to get up there. I try to spread them around the house a little bit, but anyway, guys, that's it. Your Glock versus your Wilson Combat. Y'all have a good day. Later on.